Hi, I'm Jim Adamski with CDL, and today we're going to talk about the use of a candy thermometer. So with the candy thermometer, what we want to do before we use our, our candy thermometer is every thermometer is just a little bit different um, than the next. So what we want to do is we actually want to go through and we want to boil a batch of water. We want to calibrate our, our thermometer. We want to know where our boiling point of water is um, at our location and with our specific thermometer. So when we look at our thermometer, it's got a handy clip on the back side. What we can do with that clip is we can clip it right to the side of our container and uh, we can submerge it into the boiling water. And we want to boil the water for four or five minutes to make sure that the thermometer and the, and the water have all kind of reached the same temperature. As you'll see on this specific um, thermometer, today we have a boiling point of about 210 degrees at our location with that specific thermometer. So if we are going to use our thermometer to finish our maple syrup, what we need to know is that maple syrup finishes at 7 degrees over the boiling point of water at that location with that particular thermometer. So if we were going to use this specific thermometer to finish our maple syrup, our maple syrup finishing temperature for 66 brick syrup today with this thermometer at our location would be 217 degrees. If you have any other questions, please visit our website.